So today, so this is the most common thing that we see. Uh, virtually every one of our uh, clients that we talk to, be they in uh, marketing, be they a uh, consumer brand, be they a lifestyle brand, be they the police, it doesn't matter. They're storing content in Google Drive, in Dropbox, in solutions that were never developed originally to manage video. Okay. So what are their limit limitations? The first limitation, which you can see here, which is which is totally common, is that you have you can only really search by the name of the file. And that makes it very difficult because these files then have to be downloaded before you can actually see them. So you can't play them over a browser. You can't stream them over a browser. Some of the prosumer solutions, you can do a bit of streaming if it's an MP4 or whatever it is, but rarely can you actually transcode on these, on, on these work, what we call workaround solutions. So just searching for the title doesn't really help very much. There's no edit functionality. We go back to those movie lab principles. There's no real uh, you know, applications coming to the cloud. What we see here is we're actually taking the content out of the cloud. It's the first thing that we do. Okay. If you think we transfer would be another very common solution, and by all, all and large, uh, all, all arguments, it's a good solution for moving large files from one place to another. But if your file is uh, important and it's got you, you need to keep it secure, how do you know where it's going once you've sent it to somebody else? 